ladies and gentlemen, Paul Flayhan with Paul's iOS device here, taking a look at the newly redesigned iCloud.com. Now, I don't, I don't know a whole lot of people who use iCloud.com, but I use it uh, a whole lot, and I suggest you using it too. It's got a lot of great features um, that you can access just, just going to iCloud.com. So here after I sign in with my Apple ID and password, we're going to take a look at some of these cool features. In the background, you can see the new dynamic sort of wallpapers, sort of like iOS 7. In the upper right-hand corner, you can access your account settings. And from here, you can modify uh, your picture. And you've got the help uh, page here. But I'm going to run through some of this stuff here really quickly. You've got iCloud. You've got contacts, mail, a lot of uh, helpful features. And here you can modify your picture and you can also you know select the different language you want to use and there's a whole bunch of different languages so select the one you prefer and also you can select your time zone which in my case I just use the central time zone in the first application you use you've got your iCloud.com email address this isn't any sort of any email addresses this is specifically your iCloud.com and you just a typical email address you can add new folders really easily and all you gotta do is just select mail in the upper left hand corner and move on to the next application or you can just select home which I'm gonna do here and move on to the contacts page and now these are your contacts that you've got in your phone so you can easily this is one of the, the big features you can have in iCloud.com uh, you can quickly add contacts by typing on a keyboard instead of you know typing them individually on your phone it's a lot quicker on iCloud.com and then next we're gonna go ahead and take a look at the calendars this is a, a great way to modify your calendar and a great way to share calendars with others so here are my calendars and to the right of uh, a specific calendar is the sharing button and from here you can quickly and easily share with family and friends just by typing in um, their Apple ID which is their email address and click OK and you will share this calendar um, with your family and friends whoever you send it to and the recipient will get a notification and they have the ability to accept or decline the invitation so that is a great feature and here is the day week and month view of the calendar I think it's a really nice looking calendar uh, and you can also very quickly and easily add events on specific days and rename your event and select the calendar you want this event under so next we're going to go ahead and go to our reminders application or, or our notes our notes first let's quickly head over to our notes application now all of this is in sync with your phone or iPad so whatever you type in here it will automatically sync right over to your your iDevice so all of this is integrated with iCloud obviously so whatever you type in here will pop up on your your iPhone or iPad and then next let's go to reminders this is a very simple application where you can quickly and easily uh, share uh, grocery lists or reminders or to-do lists with family members as well just by clicking that share button to the right hand side just like in the calendars application so this is a very handy uh, application to share things with family and friends I obviously have my grocery list here shared with my wife so we can quickly easily uh, transfer a grocery list to each other next is find my iPhone this is probably the most valuable application here this can quickly and easily show you where your devices are and allow you to communicate with them just in case they get lost or stolen you can quickly select your device up at the top 
And from here you can play a sound, you can select lost mode, or you can completely wipe your device. So if you have very, you know, valuable information on your device and somebody steals it, you can quickly, you know, wipe it clean. And also in the upper right hand corner it can tell you the battery life of your device. And next are the next three applications in the iWork program, which is Pages, Keynote, and Numbers. And obviously these are just in beta. Pages is like uh, Apple's version of Microsoft Word. And it is very, very handy. You can also get these applications on your iPhone or iPad in the App Store. And these are just in beta, so, you know, it may have a little bugs here and there, but all of this is obviously in sync with your iPhone or iPad. So if you've got pages, uh, keynote or numbers on your iPhone or iPad, all of this stuff will be in sync with that as well. And you can quickly and easily um, create documents or upload documents right here in iCloud. Next, let's head over to numbers. Numbers is Apple's version of Microsoft Excel. I really enjoy this, especially on the iPad. This is a really smooth application on the iPad, and you've got a whole bunch of different templates here that you can choose from. And just take a look at those. And you can also create documents and also upload documents to the cloud as well. Now we're going to head over to the final application here in iCloud.com, and this is Keynote. This is Apple's version of Microsoft PowerPoint and here are quite a few templates here as well and again you can get these applications on your iPhone iPad iPod touch and you can also go into the Mac App Store and those applications are available there as well so that was a quick look at iCloud.com this has a ton of great features that uh, I don't know a whole lot of people who use it but probably should and I use it all the time so if you enjoyed what you see uh, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button down below and also hit that subscribe button down below so you don't miss any more videos like this and you'll view them all in your subscription box thanks for watching this is Paul with Paul's iOS device God bless